I'm gonna reveal the best and the worst restaurants for food delivery drivers. This matters because time is money. The best restaurants make you the most money in the shortest amount of time. Isn't it obvious that expensive restaurants are the places to deliver from and skip all the rest? <laughs> Wait, do customers order from expensive restaurants all day and into the late hours? Wow, it looks like there's some important concerns to cover. Hello friends, in addition to sharing the best and the worst places, I'm going to share why this is the case. When you know the why behind the claims, then you can reduce the time it takes for you to maximize your earnings. My name is Russ and I have six years of part-time experience and I love helping you earn more money and being the best gig worker possible. Time is money. Waiting for food means less time to earn money. In general, restaurants need to be fast making those orders. This also means that the food delivery apps must enable that restaurant to make the food just in time before the driver shows up. <laughs> There's almost nothing worse than showing up for an order and it's not ready. As you can tell, this is out of our control. What is in control of the driver is being selective on which restaurants you pick up from and when. Please do pay attention because you're going to be thrilled when I break down the good and the bad points of various types of restaurants. Also, drivers are not perfect, but more on that later. We're about to get into the best restaurants, but before we do, recognize that every market is different. So restaurants that I claim as good or bad, they may not be the same or different in your market. My assessments on the type of restaurants should not change in different markets though. Now let's talk about the best restaurants. I've personally found the sushi restaurant orders pay the most because customers tip well. Sushi is expensive and customers pay a tip for the overall experience. Naturally that tip's going to fall to the delivery driver even though the sushi chef did all that work making the expensive sushi. Now tips are a topic best left for another time. I've also found that barbecue restaurants pay well because the meals are expensive. I've also found that orders including alcohol, those pay well. They're rare though. I found that ice cream orders pay well, assuming you can deliver them promptly. These are rare. Sushi orders are really the most common and high paying. The apps have gotten better at synchronizing orders and drivers, so most orders are smooth. I rarely have to wait for most orders, and if I do, it's only a minute or two. Times have definitely changed for the better. I still announce myself at the counter, especially if those workers don't care about customer service. Before we move on to the bad places, thank you so much for making this investment of your time into vastly improving your earnings. In appreciation, please do like the video and channel. It helps a lot, and I appreciate you for it. Thank you. Let's get into those bad places. I definitely stay away from chicken restaurants. When these places are busy, it takes a very long time for them to cook the food. Most restaurants prioritize the drive through and the customers at the counter over delivery drivers. You may consider canceling an order if the wait time's just gonna be too much. As you know, time is money. Chicken places are places like Buffalo Wild Wings, Kentucky Fried Chicken, Popeyes, and of course, Wingstop. The worst ones are the coffee chains like Starbucks and Coffee Bean and Tea Leaf. You're at high risk of spilling drinks or even having them leak on you. I'm talking about even that one drink that's in the lopsided bag, let alone six or eight drinks. These are going to ruin your car's interior, and you don't want that customer wondering if you were careless or purposely were spilling or making their drink leak. They're, what they're going to do is take away your tip or reduce it. And you also have to be extra careful with places that serve soup for the same reasons. Five Guys is slow, and that's because they cook the fries once you arrive. Chick-fil-A is also slower, but not nearly as bad as Five Guys. Another factor, if a restaurant is good or not, is the time of day. All orders go smoothly except for the dinner rush. And this is when restaurants get really backed up and drivers just have to wait. So this cuts down on how many orders you can take at dinner. But there are generally more orders at dinner than at breakfast or lunch. So just be prepared to be slowed down. You're also going to be slowed down due to reduced visibility when it gets dark. 
Don't forget a flashlight and that's going to help you find the drop off. Now, I know it's not good to generalize, but in general, the other restaurants and fast foods, they're all the same. McDonald's has really gotten good at putting their drinks securely in the bag. So as long as you're careful, you're not going to spill anything. Taco Bell, Del Taco, they're okay. Same for Mexican food. Same goes for Jack in the Box, Burger King, and Wendy's. Pizza places are fine. Dunkin' Donuts is good, especially if you're tempted like me to get a donut. Panda Express is good and Panera Bread as well, but they do borderline on a bad place because sometimes they get really busy. Again, I always announce myself so they can't get distracted continuing to help those customers in line. <laughs> Here's a bonus tip for you. As food delivery drivers, it's challenging to find a restroom while you're working. So take the time to go to the bathroom at every place you pick up and based on how clean it is, you can decide if you actually want to eat there on your own sometime. Just saying. Early on, I mentioned that drivers are not perfect. We require those apps to be on point, the restaurants to include everything, and for there to be no traffic and an easy drop-off location. What happens when a driver fails? We really aren't perfect. Let me know if you think I handled the situation well when I picked up the wrong order in this next video.